for our cooking segment today. We're going to learn how to make vegan and non-vegan wrap. So for those of you who think vegan is something boring, we're going to make something exciting that you can try at home. I have with me Flossie Azu, who's an entrepreneur. Good morning, Flossie. Hi, good morning. How good are to you? see you again. Nice you were here last week. You You're here again. What are we doing today? So today we're making very simple wraps. Okay. Right? So we're making with lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Okay. We're making a guacamole, which is okay. going to be the base of the wrap. All right. And then you can add whatever you want when you're done with that. You can add your beef, you can add your grilled chicken, okay. whatever it is that you want to do. Okay. So I'm gonna demonstrate the vegan, and then when we finish, we'll- Do the, the non-vegan non one, okay. <laughs> and again, let, let's walk through the ingredients. Okay. Tomatoes, uh-huh. So we have tomatoes, mm -hmm. we have onions, and then, of course, we have our avocados. We okay. have lettuce. I already roasted um, these mushrooms, mushrooms with okay. some spring onions. Nice. Um, we have garlic. We have our lime. We have our fresh peppers. Mm -hmm. Right. So instead of chopping up the peppers inside, I'm going to use a pepper, which is already obviously <laughs> <laughs> prepped and ready to go. Mm -hmm. But if you want that extra kick, mm -hmm. you can just dice up some of your fresh peppers in there to kind of like elevate it a little bit. Okay. And then we have cilantro, purple basil, Italian basil. Okay. What's that going to do for us? That's going to add some flavor. And like I said, the last time that I was here, basil is anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. Basil can help lower cholesterol. It's really good for you. So every single thing that we have here has benefits to the body. Perfect. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. All right. So you're going to be my assistant, Yes, right? I am. Wonderful. Just let me know what you need me to okay, do and then so I'll get it done. First, we're going to check these avocados. Okay. They seem a little ripe, right? Yeah. So we're going to cut them really small and then mash it up. So okay. let's open them up and see what we have in here. So there are various ways to tell if an avocado is ripe. Some people okay. like it a little bit more um, oh, firm. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is like really good and easy to mash up, yeah. right? So. Usually I do this to get the seed out okay. really easily. And then you just scoop it scoop out. It out okay, should I? Put it in here. Please help. help with Thank that. you. Okay. So we're just going to scoop out our avocado. How was your weekend? It was good. How was yours? It was really good. What did you do? I rested. Ah, <laughs> resting is always good. Resting is amazing. I took a trip to uh, Prom Prom with my friends to get some fresh lobster wow but that's a, another conversation for a different day <laughs> that's chilling you should have brought some of the lobsters so i we know can, i'll bring some next it. time yeah. <laughs> straight chilling do you go to pram pram a lot no actually it was my second time oh, and i really had fun i think i'll make it a habit of just should. going there to get some just, fresh lobster yeah. and some fresh taking fresh the meals. time to just relax yeah and take care of yourself <laughs> that's really important Wow, oh, you are an excellent helper. A oh, sous -chef. thank you, thank you, thank you. You should open up a restaurant. <laughs> so why did we uh, do this to it? So that they So I feel like that's a, that'll make it a little bit easier to ah, mash up. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then once we're done, we're going to add some onions. Okay. I feel like some of our avocado is a little suspect. <laughs> we'll add our onions. And we'll add some tomato. Okay. This is really simple. It's a very simple um, on the go side. Mm -hmm. You can have it as a condiment. You can use it instead of butter. Okay. Right. So a lot of people like avocado sandwiches because it's it's smooth, it's creamy, it's mm -hmm. got that goodness in there. And I'm going okay. to use the green pepper. Okay. Right? Why because, the green one? Because the green pepper I feel like works better with avocados. Okay. Right. So it has the kind of mild, it has a milder taste than the red, okay. and it's less aromatic than the orange. Awesome. So it allows the avocado to do what the avocado needs to do in there. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get one tablespoon, or um, it depends. So How hot do you like it? I like it really hot. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I like that. I'm gonna spice it up. I like that. Okay, so we did um, a tablespoon and a half. Mm. All right, and so then we're just gonna mix it all up. Oh, okay. Do you like avocado? I love avocado. How do you use it? I know some people like it on the side when you're eating kinky. Yes, I use it on the side with my kinky. Mm -hmm. I actually, Saturday, AJ took me to a restaurant in East Ligon called Velandro. We had a whole 
kinky lamb and avocado on the side hey, and I mean serious. My, my, my weekend was made. That, that, weekend, that, that I feel like your that. weekend was centered around food. <laughs> I mean my entire life is centered around food. Okay. I okay. need an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> but Charlie food is good. And good food is good. It's good. And this know. is actually affordable, right? It's so you just affordable. grab Yes, two a lot of people think that being I mean, vegan is super expensive. expensive yeah. yeah. And I'm not really sure where that notion comes from because yeah. I don't spend money on fish or yeah. meat. So And that's usually way more expensive yeah. than the vegetables. Yeah, vegetables are easy. They're easy to grow, they're easy to acquire. It's, it's wow. really good. Yeah. And this is like so clean food. We mm -hmm. literally used what what are the ingredients? We used uh, avocado, some uh, chopped onions, some tomatoes. And of course, the famous the pepper. pepper. The pepper. We had to get like two teaspoons there. Why do they add lime to it? So lime gives it the tang that you need, okay. right? And lime also. The last time I was here, I talked about some of the benefits of lime. Yes. Do you remember? The oh abunua. <laughs> abunua. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so lime is antibacterial. It's antimicrobial. It's hydrating. Okay. So that's why people put like a wedge of lime or a slice that's of lime in their drinks sometimes because it's super hydrating. Okay. And it's really fun because they like to put lime also in alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol <laughs> takes away your, your water and then you try and put a, a wedge of lime to put it right back, right? So we're going to slice this up okay. and then... We'll just so this you can get at your regular this is lemon that we're using today. Mm -hmm. This is like about use about one CD or fifty plus worth. Yeah. So we're just gonna slice half of the There we go. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. And then Oh should I get the seed? Uh huh. No, I got it. I almost forgot. No, you're doing good. <laughs> and then you just squeeze, squeeze it, in, it in, there. in there. Wow. Mm-hmm. My mouth is already watering. I know. Are I you have, hungry? I am. I've you not didn't had have, breakfast yet. What? Why? Yeah. Actually, I, I might be lying. I'm like, you're going to go to at like 5 a.m. and forgot all about it. you had your first breakfast. Yes. Yeah. It's always good to have a second <laughs> Every now and then. You have Especially a when it's healthy, mm -hmm. so you don't feel guilty. This looks so good. Food should be guilty. Wow. Yeah. All right. So then we have our guacamole. We have our guacamole. Wow. Ready. Okay, and so now you, know, you didn't add any olive oil and all, all that extra stuff mm -hmm. that people usually, mm -hmm. this is Everything. Good. So the pepper already has, it has the black pepper in there. It already has everything that you need. So okay. it's really quick and simple. And nice. that's what I like about ah, the living. Pepper. Exactly, right? Living simply, you just add it and then and it elevates your food. Ooh. You can add it to anything, right? Okay. And of course, you can use whatever you'd, you prefer. You can use the orange pepper if you like it a little more aromatic. You can use the green pepper if you mm -hmm. like it a little milder. Or you can use the red pepper if you want. Mm -hmm. It's really you know, that, mm -hmm, spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Okay, so now let's assemble. We have our tortillas here. We have whole okay. wheat tortilla because I know people are all about that. Okay, should I bring the yes, ma'am chopping board over here? We have our platter ready now. Okay. So let me just wipe it off so that it's nice and clean. Okay, so we have that. How many are you gonna eat? Oh, let's make two. Two, the two for you? Or? Just one. I, I have one actually. <laughs> All right. Well, one we'll, we'll start with yours Please. because you're the one hosting me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But well, you're the guest. I'm the guest. But you have to be able to tell me if it's good. Mm -hmm. So I like a very generous portion okay. of avocado okay. and guacamole every time I'm making any food or whatever mm -hmm. it is that I make when I use avocado. I usually Use them and uh, don't worry, I like the chunks. Very, <laughs> very, very generously. All right, and then we'll put some lettuce on there. This is fresh, um, already washed, okay, and ripped up. Okay. I'll just rip it a little bit more so that it's. Um, I usually like my lettuce to be more crunchy okay. than limp because <laughs> who wants anything limp, really? <laughs> and I put a few a bit of just onion. a few pieces of onion on there. Okay. Do you want some slices of avocado on there? Mm, sure. Why not? Why not? You have to. You have I'll to help you with that one. Okay. okay. And then. So is that supposed to like help you get a bit of chunk in there? A little chunk in there. A little okay. body in there. And then you have your. So you can replace this with whatever meat that you have already grilled ah, and chopped up okay. as well. 
But if you are vegan, mm -hmm. then this is a perfect option. Yep, plant-based okay. for life. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna top it off with some cilantro and Ooh. some basil for you. Okay. These I picked fresh. You know, I told you I From have your a, garden. Yes, I have a basil bush and. I, I need parsley. to visit your, your garden you one day. You definitely do. You definitely do. Come see me. I will. And then we'll get the cilantro in there so that... Do you like the taste of cilantro? I, I know do. some people don't. I do. Some people think it tastes like soap. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't agree. All wow. right. Wow. Like, can ready? we take a moment to look at all to this goodness this that you guys in. have on your screen? So let's see what we have in here and the nutritional benefits as well. Mm -hmm. Starting with the avocado. Okay. So an avocado has a lot of omega fat oils. Okay. It has some protein in there. It's really good for your skin. Anything that has oil is usually good very good for your skin. Okay. Right. Avocados also taste delicious. Yeah. They <laughs> They're just so good. I feel like there's almost no meal that I don't have with avocado. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then we have our herbs, all our herbs that we use today are anti inflammatory. So is garlic and so is um, onion, mm -hmm. right? The mushroom that we have is also very good, a very good source of vitamin D. Nice. And many people think it's only animals that you can get vitamin D from, but there are some from. plants that you can get vitamin D wow. from as well. Okay. It also has antioxidants. And of which course, the pepper. We have the pepper. <laughs> Walk us through what we get from the pepper. The pepper has its garlic, it has its onion, it has basil, it has cilantro, it has dill, it has all the natural herbs as well. Wow. And of course it has pepper. Yeah. Now pepper is very good for your circulatory system. It helps lower your blood pressure. It helps lower your cholesterol. So it's heart healthy or heart happy. All so. right, I'm excited. Let's roll it up <laughs> okay. and taste it. Are you ready? I am ready. Good. I like my wraps full so that when you're, when you're in there, you're really you're really in Enjoying there. Enjoying it. There you go. Whew. Whew. Okay. So we're gonna I'm taste. Gonna make another one for myself. Yeah, maybe I should wait for you. Oh no, don't. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I'll finish mine before you're done <laughs> with yours. Okay. She said I can go ahead and bon taste appetit. mine. Bon appetit. Thank you. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. What are some of the flavors that you're sensing in there? Do you want a little bit more zest the in there? Mm -hmm. And it's perfect. Okay. So it's the guacamole, mm -hmm. the onions, pepper, of course. The mushrooms are really delicious. You know it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want a little bit, I'm gonna do that because I live for the spice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little of the hot sauce in it directly. So I think that... I need more of the oh, pepper. Oh, okay, there. okay. Look I think at I'm you. brave enough to. Okay. Yeah. Just a, a dollop mm -hmm. on there. Just a bit of mm -hmm. on there. So you, you can take the pepper with you and you know. As well today. If you're taking it to lunch. Just uh -huh. a in your little, little hot sauce in your bag swag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're really going all. You're not even um, waiting for me. Well, okay, yeah, okay. And I like that we, we added some chunks to it so you mm -hmm. can taste. You have some texture in mm -hmm. there. Okay. Yeah? I love it. <laughs> Like, I'm not even talking. <laughs> so you just walk us through what you're doing. I'm making another one for myself. So this one is slightly different from yours because okay. I put um, the pepper right in there. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to just sprinkle Ooh, some more you vitamin more, C on there. More of mm -hmm, that in there, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to reach over, put some more of the herbs on I there. I taste the herbs as well. Yeah, I'm glad you like cilantro. I was actually really... A little bit worried about that because oh, no. not everybody does it's good. and you just can't help it right and this is so good for you we just finished the conversation about battling flu and yes it's healthy, flu season you it's know flu season so all your fresh whole foods mm -hmm. are very very important to have where's that avocado right right there mm. oh you are you are going in i I'm like that fan. i have to have you over for dinner <laughs> there's a, a vegan food. dinner in there yeah <laughs> Can hang out with your vegan friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes when you hear someone is vegan, you think it's so complicated, but yeah. it's actually not. I, I wonder where that comes from. Yeah. I feel like I haven't I haven't asked enough mm -hmm. to know why people think it's so hard. Yeah. I mean, I guess yes, people love meat, so I guess people don't want to give that up, which mm -hmm. I completely respect. 
But yeah. why do people think it's like what do you have to do to, that's to, extra? It's so complicated. Yeah, I'm not well, sure. guys, you see, it's not complicated at all. Mm -hmm. So we're adding our uh, lettuce now. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just joining us, I'll just walk you through the ingredients briefly. Your the guacamole, we just added the pear, put onions in there, tomatoes, uh, sprinkled some half of a lemon mm -hmm. in there, and of course we added the, the pepper, pepper to it. And then for the wrap, you just get your tortilla. tortilla that we have the wheat one, and then you just put your guacamole as a base, add your veggies, we added mushrooms to it, added a bit of the pepper as well, and you have your spinach and you're good. So cheers. Voila. Cheers. Enjoy. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you this. yeah eat it yeah. again. But before yeah. you eat, where do we follow you on social media? You can follow me at the pepper okay. underscore. So on Instagram, mm -hmm. the pepper underscore. And you can buy directly from Instagram. Okay. Yeah. The pepper. The pepper. Thank you so much. Go on and eat your food. <laughs> and that's you know, we tried our vegan wrap today it is so delicious and you can try them at home mm. with your family and friends we need to start eating healthy meals and what i like about this is 90 percent of the things we use were actually sourced locally and they are affordable as well so thank you guys we're gonna go on and finish our wrap hi guys i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to our youtube channel the city tube for exclusive breakfast daily content and other city tv programs like comment and share with your friends